What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dinkins back at it again with another video. And I decided to do one of these videos because I'm, I'm trying to get back to my roots, man. I'm trying to be happy and just post what I enjoy posting. So I hope you guys enjoy this. But this is going to be five facts that I bet you probably don't know about Minecraft. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. That's all good. Just sit back and enjoy because you clicked on it. So you're obviously interested. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, so let's say, you know, you're you're just starting out in a world and you find a desert temple and you don't really have much loot. This is an easy way to be able to to loot the desert temple as fast as you possibly could. So you're going to break that. You're going to break this open and then you're going to break all of the TNT just like so and then you're going to use the TNT to climb out you're going to place this down you're going to do that you're going to pop that and then you're going to jump back in the hole and boom just like that you take almost no damage and you just pretty much looted the entire thing without even having to break open the chest and the best part is you now got blocks you can pretty much easily get out of here all right, moving on to number four. And I realize I didn't say number five for that over there. So that's my bad. I, I, I didn't mean to offend anybody by not saying what number it was, but it was number five. This is number four. Um, I just found this out. Um, I've been playing on the world with my friend Lucy and I wanted to test to see how good a hay bale actually is against fall damage. And honestly, it's insane how little fall damage you take from it like you can build up 64 blocks like we're going to right now and once you reach the top you look around for a second and then you just yeet yourself right off and boom you only literally take half damage i mean five hearts like that's nothing to be 64 blocks high all right and coming in at number three i did not know that this was a thing and when i found this out i was like dude this completely changes the way that i will do sky block from now on like it completely changes it so if you do this and then you can put, I didn't know this, but you can put water in here, right? And then, oh, you know what? I probably should have put that in the ground now that I think about it. Give me one sec here. Okay, so I realized I actually didn't need to put that in the ground. It was actually perfectly fine the way that I had done. Oh, shit. Well, um, <laughs> I'm just screwing this all up. We're going to do it right here instead. Oh, got to put it this way, this way, and this way. And then you can put water right in there, right? And then what you do is... Oh, think that's good enough um, let's hope so and then what you do is you just put the lava right here and it turns it right into a perfect a perfectly fine generator and the perfect and the, the nice part is you can actually break that do this oh wow I keep breaking the goddamn block <laughs> We're going to put some wood down. So then what you can do is you can put this there and just literally like as simple as it can be, you can just keep it going. So now what you can do is do that and that should still turn into cobblestone yep there we go oh i gotta put one more of those down 
I'm doing a really bad job of it, because this is the first time I've ever actually tried it. Um, so, yeah, this was a massive fail. But, yeah, this this is a... Uh, this has changed the game forever, so I'm, I'm sorry that I completely butchered it. All right, now taking the number two spot, I thought this was very interesting when I first found out about it, but if you take a furnace and put it down and then put a wet sponge inside of it, when you throw the coal, put a water bucket right here, right away, and once the water cooks out of the sponge, not only do you get the regular dry sponge, but the water goes into the water bucket. And then you can just literally keep the water just like that. And I, th I think that's actually pretty cool just to know in case, you know, you, you don't have water, you're not close to water, and you have, but you have that wet sponge just as easy as that. And lastly, if you're ever, you know, building a tower up or, you know, say you're building like a lot of people build flags or you're just building up in general, um, one thing to know, and I think that people should start doing this more often just because it's also a cool way to get down, you know, like if none of your friends know how to do this, then you're, you're going to look like a fucking genius. But if you don't have any water on you, bring TNT because what a lot of people don't, don't think about is that TNT and yes, I'm in creative. So no matter what block I break, will will break instantly. But say I was in survival, I'm in survival and I need to get down from here. What a lot of people don't like forget is that. TNT breaks in one hit so you could literally just continuously uh, break it and replace it you know make sure you bring enough and you could easily safely get down without dying and I think that that is like actually like super cool like I would have never thought of anything like that before so like in my opinion I mean that's fucking gassed right there man that's that's one of the coolest coolest things that I've personally learned about Minecraft recently um, but I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I know I messed up a lot in this video, and this video is not as good as it could be, but you know what? I, I Nobody's perfect. I'm out here just, just doing this to show you guys some, some cool things in Minecraft. So, I'm out of here. Peace!